How you doing, my crazy cracker lovers? This is Abiba, the crazy cracker lady, coming with you with a new cracker. It's called No More Waste, or What's in the Fridge. You choose what you like to call it. Before we get started, I just want to show you some of the books once again, for those of you who don't have them, and for those who, of you who do have them and say, wow, I learned something new. Thanks for the video. Anyway, let's go on over here, and I'm going to show you the first book, Absolutely was Crazy Crackers, the book that started it all. The second book is Edible Treats. I don't have here right now, but I do have Lip Smacking Favorites. And this particular book came out because people said, I don't have a dehydrator right now, but I really still want to make some of your foods like your kale salad and some other things that you do. So this is how this book came about, but it also has crackers. This book here, this is called More Lip Smacking Favorites. And this particular book here, this has the new and improved barbecue chip and onion ring, including breads and salsas, a couple of desserts. Really, really good. But let's get started. A lot of people, they want to know, how can I just make a simple, a simple cracker? You could just use what's ever in your fridge. That's how Crazy Crackers came about. I really didn't know what I was doing or how to make the crackers, but I said, you know what, let me just experiment with what I have in the refrigerator. So that's what we're going to do today. What we have here, we have a couple of lemons, because I like lemon in my crackers. We have jicama, which I've never tried for a cracker, and I think that's going to really be good. Tomatoes, cilantro, apple and red bell pepper. These are just some simple things that were already in my refrigerator that I'm going to make a cracker with. I also like to use, I'll show you, this is quinoa. Very good. It's a complete protein. I also like to use buckwheat, which also makes a really good cracker. And if you want to add just a little bit of color, I also have what's called a red quinoa. Really, really good. So again, Let's get started. We're going to do everything in the food processor, and we're going to use whole flax seeds. You can use the golden or you can use the brown, and also some ground flax seeds, it's just to show you what you can do. So, you can use a blender or food processor, but today we're going to use the food processor. So, I'm going to put in the tomatoes. You always want to put in your wet ingredients first, and then we're going to put in the apple cilantro, and the red bell pepper. You always want to use either red, yellow, or orange. The green bell peppers are not ripe. And usually when people say they can't eat bell peppers, it's usually because it's green. Then I'm going to use a little bit of the lemon juice. Just squeeze that there so I can catch the seeds. Do a little bit more. And again, we're going to do two crackers with just these ingredients here. Okay. Keeping it simple, keeping it simple. I'm going to move these out of the way. Move our paper there. I'm going to bring this here. I'm going to use just a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to use, since I love salsas and I love Mexican food, I'm going to use just a little bit of some Mexican seasoning. And you can adjust the seasonings to your taste. If you want a little more spice, you can add that. If you want a little more of this, a little of that, you can do that too. You want to make sure that everything is blended up really well. You don't want big chunks of anything in your crackers. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take just a little bit of this out because we're going to do the ground flax seed first. And what you want to do is you never want to take that out. There we go. You never want to put a metal utensil next to your blade. It dulls the blades. So you want to use a spatula to scrape off that excess on the blade. 
I'm going to put just a little bit of this in here because we're doing two crackers. Just a little bit. And this is going to be for the for the ground flax seeds. I'm going to take that and just kind of pour that in there and stir that up. And then we're going to see the thickness that we want. You want it to be a nice consistency so that the texture is going to be a nice, dense cracker. I'm going to add a little more flax seeds to that because it's just a little bit too much of the liquid there. Add just a little bit more. There we go. And then we're going to spread that onto the Teflex sheet. And again, you can use the brown or the golden flax seeds. It's your choice. I tend to like the golden flax seeds a little more because it's a little bit of a lighter taste. But the brown flax seeds do very, very well. That's what I started out using was the brown flax seeds. And now I use both. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just take one of the trays out and we're going to spread this on the Teflex sheet, score it, and put it into the dehydrator. Now what I like to do is a 2 to 1 ratio for the crackers. I like to do, and I'm going to kind of hold this up so that you can see how I'm doing this. I'm just going to spread this and look at all the colors in there. It's just beautiful, beautiful. You can see green and red and a little bit of orange. Spread that like that. And naturally you're going to have a little bit more, but I just had a little bit, just a few vegetables in my fridge and I said, you know what? I don't need to be making a whole lot anyway because I'm telling you I eat so much. I really do. I really do. Okay, we're going to take that. Okay. And then make sure that's all nice and neat. But what I was going to say is I want a 2 to 1 ratio. I want to have about 2 cups of vegetables, your vegetable mixture that you're going to put either in the blender or put it in the food processor. And then you're going to score it. And then you want to have 3 quarters to a cup of either flax seeds or sunflower seeds or a combination of both. And if you want more, you can do more, but at least that's the minimum that you want. Now, that's what that looks like there. I'm going to take this, put this in the Excalibur or whatever dehydrator that you have. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of this and I'm going to put this in here and add the whole flax seeds to this. Stir that in there, drop them by spoonfuls, and we are good to go. All right, simple, easy. So, when you're ready to start making your crazy crackers and you say, you know what, I just don't have all those ingredients and some of these other recipes that they call for about 10 or 15 different things, and I don't have all that. Well, if all you have is five things, Use five things. If all you have is three things, you can make crackers with three ingredients. Flax seeds, lemon juice, or bell pepper, or whatever you have. Just use that. This is what's in the fridge cracker. Mix that up real well. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then we're going to drop that by spoonfuls. And then if you want to decorate it any more, you can put some sesame seeds on top. It's beautiful. There we go. Then we're going to drop that by spoonfuls. And that is it. Alright, let's pull this out. Okay. 
tray. Get out that second tray. There we go. Then drop that by spoonfuls. And you can go right on down on this tray so that they can see that. There we go. Just a little spoonful like that. I'm going to do that all the way so I don't have to come back to it. There we go. And if you want more flax seeds in there, add more flax seeds. You can have a denser cracker if you want. Or you could even take some of the ground flax seeds and add it to this. And it'll be very dense. It'll have a little less seeds. It'll be about half and half seeds and then ground flax seeds. Whatever you so choose. That's how Crazy Crackers came about. I said, let me just experiment. And after experimenting, I was going to potlucks and people were saying, who made these crackers? And I said, I did. And they wanted to know the recipe. And I said, that's fine. I was giving out the recipes. And then I said, you know, I'm tired of writing all this stuff. And the Lord gave me the vision to write a book. And that's been since, since 2002. So I'm very, very grateful. And I hope I can continue. I hope I'm going to continue to make crazy crackers for those people that love crackers and want to make a good cracker. There we go. Take this out. Put that in there. And you know before I end, I always like to say thank you. God bless you. And always remember, enjoy your crazy crackers. Yeah, Crazy Cracker Lovers, I'm back again. You know what? You know you always have to hear the crunch for my crackers, so... Yummy, yum, yum. This Crazy Cracker has um, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, chard, some other goodies that I had in the fridge. I want to show you this, too. This one here, I just spread this onto the Teflex sheet and just kind of broke it up, whatever, however I wanted to do it. I just spread it out really thin, but you can see the wonderful colors all in there too. Have a lot of lemon juice in there. Really, really good. But I'm going to eat this one so that you know the crazy cracker. Always remember, enjoy your crazy crackers.